out of the 21 playable characters in Overwatch, there are three that tower above the rest. Three characters that are so blatantly, stupidly overpowered, they stand as unbreakable pillars to any team comp. May, the fat Eskimo whore. Roadhog, Wario's long lost brother. McCree, leader of the bunch and king of the bullshit. These three terrifying legends strike fear into the hearts of all players. For if you make just one mistake, if you are at any point frozen, chained, or stunned, you're as good as dead. They are tenacious. They are strong. They are in desperate need of nerfing. They are... The Overpowered Men. Ay, 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 ay. Except this one isn't a man. And this one isn't really even that overpowered anymore. And this entire gag feels like it's run well past its course by this point. How to Roadhog. As you could have guessed from the intro, I think that Roadhog is pretty overpowered. Like, I think that Roadhog is pretty fucking overpowered. However, surprisingly enough, there are actually a ton of people out there who would pretty adamantly disagree with me. Yeah, right, because you know, a character that can literally one-shot almost every single other character in the game simply by looking at them, pressing shift, and then left-clicking once is totally fair. If you're trying to push up against a Roadhog, you better hope Hope to God that you've got yourself a Reinhardt who really knows what he's doing, because the second his shield breaks, or he lets it down, or he presses E, you get hooked and you fucking die. Okay, let's find out just how not overpowered Roadhog really is. I... oh. Huh, well, uh, just one shot at that Lucio. It felt oddly quick and easy. Fair though, it ain't gonna be that easy to kill her. We're gonna have to... Uh, nope, she, uh, she died just as quickly. You see that guy over there? Let me just, uh... Hmm, yeah, uh, there, there he goes. Junk rat. oh man, he can be real tough to deal with, and one-shotted. I think I am beginning to notice a pretty clear pattern here. Time to get this bitch out of my sky. Farah, prepare to be... Uh, I, I was gonna say one-shotted, but, uh... It would appear that no shots were even necessary there. So this might just be me, but I think it's safe to say. A character that can immobilize you and bring you directly in front of him from a distance, while also having the ability to kill you in just one hit, uh, yeah, kind of, sort of, just a little bit, completely fucking busted. Now this right here, th this is a this is a fine work of art, but I, I don't know, I, I can't help but feel like it's missing something. Perfect. Just look at Vape God. Back at it again, trying to turn into a ghost and fly away. Um, sorry to say, bud, you should have known that my shotgun also doubles as a long range sniper rifle. You big stupid bozo. I'm gonna get you, Reinhardt. Mark my words, I am gonna get you. Uh, but first, let me just kill this May. Okay, thank you for waiting. Now you can die too. Looks like someone on the other team is trying to copy the master and play Roadhog. But I want you all to watch this real quick. He is about to get this hook so hard oh pfft. okay well uh not exactly what i was aiming for but uh i'll i'll certainly take it i also definitely need to mention that maps with edges that you can fall off of are roadhog's best friend his ult knocks people back super far which allows you to do really fun things such as bully the shit out of one of your biggest counters reinhardt let's dissect this situation was ulting just him right next to his spawn viable no was it worth my life not really, but was it worth it for the entertainment? Absolutely. So what have we learned? 
Today we've learned that Roadhog is just a little bit too strong. He makes things die way too fast and is incredibly hard to kill. I mean, eh, shit, I didn't even get a chance to mention his self-heal ability, which restores like 400 health and has like an 8 second cooldown. I mean, it's just too good. It's just too good. And it's a problem that Blizzard really needs to get on and fix. My biggest piece of advice would be to take advantage of this while it lasts, viewers. His nerf is pretty imminent, so make sure to take what you've learned from this super educational video and apply it while he's still broken.